Um, so, Dolly, you spoke about naysayers that we get along the journey from childhood. And so when we speak about undoing those things, how do you um, keep yourself centered and bring yourself to a space where um, your voice is louder than the naysayers? Very good question. So I think, okay, apart from the fact that I, I connect spiritually, right? Um, I think that's where I definitely find my sanity, you know, by connecting and, and really understanding who God says I am indeed is who I say I am. I think for me, that's a starting yes. point than anything yes. else because everything else then for me flows from there. Um, but respecting, obviously not everybody has got those, uh, you know, um, religious beliefs. Um, but I think you can't possibly center yourself if you do not know who you are. You need to be comfortable and content with who you are as a person before you can say that you're content. Mm -hmm. um, so otherwise then that breeds some level of superficiality if you're saying that you're content, but inside you're fighting your own demons because you're not content with who you are as a person. Because then Ilona, it doesn't matter who comes and who tries to get you to deviate from your core purpose or what you're trying to achieve. If you are so centered and you know what you want and who you are and you believe in what you want to become, there is no amount of challenge or barrier that can get between you or what you foresee becoming or who you are at that point in time. Nothing whatsoever. That should, in essence, just become noise, as a matter of fact. And you get to an understanding that people will always have an opinion about other people. But um, when you get to the level of maturity that says that I will not be bothered or moved yeah. by what people are saying that's contrary to where I want to be, um, you've actually found it, to be honest, and you'll achieve a great deal. So that level of confidence that's dictated by your inner self and your inner truth in terms of who you are as a human being um, is able to, to, you know, to almost um, to vindicate you from all of the naysayers. I mean, personally, I, I love naysayers. I don't want to lie. I <laughs> absolutely appreciate naysayers in my life because it means I'm doing something right. I mean, where there's a lot of noise and people not, you know, against what it is that I'm trying to do, it means that, okay, I'm doing something right somehow because it's attracting attention. Attention. <laughs> you know, yeah. You just need to make sure, obviously, that attention is in line with who you are and what it is that you want to be and not make it your key focal point. So it, it, you always have those. And I think the, the sooner we, we, we acquaint ourselves with the fact that naysayers will be there, but not to sit on there. And, um, and, and almost be so emotional and so distraught with the fact that there are people that are against me. Look, everyone has got people that's not in their corner, but it's okay yeah. to know where you are actually headed to.